Steve, welcome back, mate. 27th of November 2009, you first joined us. Ah, oh, it's been a few years, 12 years now. Um, been some good times and uh, different darts as well over the years, but... Uh, well, not many, mind, to be no, fair. Well, it was about two or three different sets, is there? Very similar, though, but just uh, a little bit variation here and there. But, uh, yeah, all going good. I mean, it's 12 years that they've, you know, they've gone in a flash, really, haven't they? I mean, you, and the game has continued to grow and grow. But um, going back to your darts, you are, without doubt, our most low-maintenance professional. And I think you came with a set that was a certain size and shape, and we, we kind of mirrored it and did some special additions. What is it, the secret to why you don't change your darts? Because um, I probably, at the end of the day, it, once you find a set that's, you know, that, that you're happy with, then really it's, it's yourself that throws the darts. You know, if you, if you have a bad game, then it's, it's not the darts, it's you that's throwing them. You know what I mean? So, so you, you, never, you never come in, kick the cat and say, <laughs> oh, it's the darts fault. Oh, no, 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 not very, no, not very often you blame the darts. Like you say, you, the only person you can blame is yourself. Um, obviously people do have problems with darts, so that's why they change them and things like that. And uh, I've tweaked them over the years, you know, you've done slightly different things with them. But generally, you know, if you, if you get happy with a, with a set, then, you know, like I say, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not winning, it's, it's not the darts, it's you. So what do you, do you think is madness that the amount of, like someone like Peter Wright, you're, you're very friendly with Pete. Um, you just, can you get your head around how he changes so often? Um, well, in a way, yeah, because I mean, I, I, I can throw all different sets of darts as it is. I mean, if you go to exhibitions, they might say, oh, you play with this set and I'll play with your set. And so you, you, over the night, you could play with three or four different sets. But um, it's, well, it's a bit like golf. We love golf, don't we? But I mean, a golfer can take your clubs and hit the ball 10 times better than you, you know, and you're thinking, oh, well, I can't, why can't I hit the ball like that? You know, but it's the same with darts, really. You know, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. And I think, you know, with, with Peter, he, just, he, he, he plays well with most of them anyway. He just thinks, oh, well, these, these are pretty good, so I'll, I'll give them a go. And, um, but in the end, you, you've, got, you've got that many different sets. What, what do you throw with in the end? So it's talent first, and then they just make the smallest margin at the top. Yeah, I yeah, I yeah. think it's the same with, with any sport, really. Um, like, he'd like to go back to golf, you know. The golfers have all different sets of clubs, but generally the, the sets that they they sell in the shops, you know, they can play just as good with them as, uh, as as they can with their professional set. Maybe slightly different, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's all in that swing and it's the same with us throwing the dart, really. It's all in the throw. So if we went fast forward, first round of the World Championships, you're going to be feeling nervous, you're in the back room, you're throwing a set of darts, you go to the toilet, you come back, your darts have gone. Would you be in a mass panic? Um, well, yeah, really, because you, you haven't got your darts. But, but let's I mean, say we got a set. Then um, we just got you a set. What would you feel like? Um, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. As long as, long as I get the shafts and get the right shafts and the flights, I'll, I'm, I'm happy then because I do like the pear shape over size. Yeah, it's shape. interesting. You're the, and you're the only I wouldn't, player. I wouldn't be very happy with the, with the square, with the standard. So, what, standard what, so what's the difference then in the flight to you? Because, I mean, that's obviously a key. You stuck, when you joined us, we had to make the tool for the oversized pair. Um, sales are quite steady with them, but. They've not been adopted on a greater scale. So what is it about that flight that works for you? Um, I think when they go into the dartboard, I can see a lot more of the, the treble. Well, I find it with the pear shape, you, the, the standard tend to block it off a bit more. Also, flight through the air. I tend to find that my dart flies better through the air with a pear shape one. But it's an oversized the pair though, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, because I mean, I tried the smaller ones, but it didn't seem to fly as well. But Maybe it's just the way I throw that that that's why the, I need the oversized pair. I mean, and you've if, stuck, if and you've stuck with that flight for all the twelve years. Well, same thing again because I mean, if I'm playing well with it, then if I have a bad game, it's not it's not the flight, is it? It's me that's you know caused the problem. So, you know, I think if you, if your tools are right, then really it's up to you to you know to produce it. Really. It's a fair comment. And but biomechanically, okay, we we're all twelve years older. You're twelve years older. You still kept yourself in good shape. Maybe not as good as Dennis in his heyday, but... <laughs> um, interestingly, when did Dennis start dyeing his hair, do you think? 
Oh, I can't, I couldn't say that, could I? Really? Oh, you like a clothes bag. He used to put the old coal stuff on it. Did he? Because he used oh, to have the old the, coal bags, yeah. yeah. I might have to borrow some. So off uh, it, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't need to die in the old day because all the coal dust, so he was all right. I'll, I'll check in with that one. Don't then. tell Daddy this. No, <laughs> he won't see it. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not got a video enabled phone, I think. So you go back, you, you've stuck with everything, and as you've got older, this hasn't changed biomechanically for you. You don't feel you need any extra help or anything? No, I think the only problem I'm finding like, with age is like the consistency is not the same. Obviously, I'm trying to practice a bit more now. Um, but with the COVID, I was so used to playing virtually every weekend. You know, out of a week, I'd probably play four or five days so a week. So you didn't need any more practice? No, and um, exhibitions were sort of me practice as well. But, you know, for the last year and a half, two years now, it, we just seem to be doing it in blocks. Like you play four or five tournaments and then might have two months off. So... I found, I've been finding that very hard, but I think come next year now, hopefully we can get back to normal again and get back more into a routine of just, you know, getting used to just throwing all the time again. And is that competitive fire st still there for you? Do you still really want to go out there and win? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, when I get on that stage, I, I want to win. Yeah, I mean, the, the problem is, like I say, you, you, every, you go up with the right attitude, you think everything's right, and then just something seems to go wrong sometimes when you're up there. Maybe you just get a bit nervous you throw too quick um most of the time it is you're pulling the dart and that's just through nerves really but you know it, sometimes you can just miss a double that doesn't help you know then you're in the back of your mind you're thinking oh, i should have had that set um but it's loads loads of different things that go on you know and like i say this year because i haven't been playing so much i think that's what's affected me game really yeah and it, that, for you, exactly, you played yourself back into form rather than practising. You've always said that, to be fair to you. So um, we are coming out of COVID. Hopefully, you know, you've got a, some rankings to make up for from losses, European and stuff. So um, got the Worlds to look forward to as well. Uh, what are your chances of getting your name on that trophy? Um, same thing again, really. It, it, I've, I've got to find a way of just, I think, just chilling a bit more on stage and not taking everything to heart too much i think like you know it, it's handy actually to get through one or two rounds because you, you, you know you tend to settle down a bit more then but uh you know if you keep going out in the first round second round it, it is hard to you know get some sort of a rhythm going so i'm hoping now over the next month or two we're running up to the worlds that i can get some sort of a uh, you know a run going and uh you know get a bit more used to playing through a few more rounds and obviously i've seen you play many times and and have we really seen what the real Steve Beaton on stage, the talent you know you have? Um, yeah, in, in spasms, I'd say. I'd say way back in, in, in the early 90s when I was young, you know, and I was playing all the time. You know, that was that was where I was playing, you know, all the time then. I, with me, you know, I was a lot younger then. And, you know, I wish darts had been as it is now back then. But yeah. obviously, you know, you can't have everything. But... Um, no, I think I've still got, and I'm getting on a bit now, but I've still got the, the capability to, to win another tournament. And uh, I think it's, it is down to confidence a bit, you know, so I could do with getting, having a little bit of a run in a, in a tournament. You never know. That might just book you back up and, you know, get you to winning ways again. Well, you've been a fan favourite. You've been one of our favourites here in the company and we are overjoyed you're staying with us for another three years. Hopefully it won't be the last three years because, you know, Feels like you've been here forever and, you know, welcome back, Steve. Oh, thanks for having us. Cheers. Thank you.